Hello everyone and welcome back to CLGTR channel. So today this video will continue the yesterday videos that I will color the hair uh, of this bun hairstyle. We already know how to draw it, right? And I just uh, layered it again to make it look more detailed and more beautiful. And of course, I combine that burst the layer with the face in here so you can have the character with the bun hairstyle in here. And I intend to um, combine this with one question of you guys that asking me about the white hair. So this girl will going to be have the white hair. And before we talking about how to draw it, you can see that I already draw in here and show you guys here that the red, the pink, the red, whatever the color is here, that will represent for the shadow. And the yellow ones in here, that will be the highlight. So before you starting to color the hair of, of the character, you must imagine where the light source is and then you will think about the shadow. That will help you a lot when you color it. So the line source in here, I imagine that will be at the top side, at the left here. So of course, because of that, is we create the shadow view in here. You see, I will pick that color again and pan in here, so you can see where is the shadow is. That's it. It's going to be like this. You see the shadow here, and of course, maybe you can see some bouncing light of the environment in this part if you want to, and. When you create the shadows in here, it will help you a lot and remember things about the lasers of the hair that because the bun is here, it is rounding, it has a superior look, it has a 3D look so you can also have the shadow is also around here that's it, you can see where I draw it, right? and of course, it's also here and this place here I will use the darker color this place here. It will be completely dark and there's no light will appear here is if there's some environment light it can be affecting here or else it's really completely dark in here. And the highlight uh, normally you will uh, know that our head is rounding have the superior look so it will have the highlight like this, right? Routing like this. So in the bun hairstyle here, it will have a little bit different that you see if it, the bun here is creating its own sapphire look. You see, it will have the look like this. So that's why when the light appear in the hands, it will create the highlight like this going follow to the strand of the hair and creating the line here and erase and pan it again so you can see that we're going to be like this kind of round but we'll also follow like this like this let me erase it again and you can see that it's we're going like this like this follow to the buns where it's flowing and you can see like this that will be the light will appear and of course this place is gonna be the lightest one the highlights appear the most and here is going to be like this that's it so understand about it first and then you can work perfectly later now I'll turn this up and because I intend to creating the white hair, so I already create the dark background here so I can easily to see when I creating the base color of the white hair. So here I will erase that and creating again. First I will use the one tone here to create some trick for this one. So use one tone and then select shift to select some part in here that will be the loose lens place uh, of the hair okay. and one more place around here and here okay and now you will use the day select tool here to erase the part Okay, I forgot before that you must convert that one so you will use select and inverse this one. So 
your this little your silly area will be the head in here. Now with this little tool, you will erase some part. And remember, at the front in here is have no bangs, and to make it look more naturally here, naturally you will create a zigzag line for the hair like this. Okay. Now you want to and how command or control to deselect the area you don't want to. The things that I don't really like about Medibank that is when you enlarge, transform, and make your uh, pictures enlarged. Uh, the the side the light will go into blurry is not the same as in Photoshop so you must think carefully about uh, the, the picture that you intend to draw else it will give the bad result just like this one if you zoom out it's okay but if you jump in you can see that uh, the light is really blurry okay when you are done now I use N N Choose white color, drag it, hold place, and then you are done to creating the base color of the hair. Now use eraser in here to erase some part that uh, is located not really good. And now, I want to have an elegant look of the hair and look at, now make it look more naturally. So now I will use Protect All Files in here. Choose Airbrush Transparent, increase the size of this one, and slightly drag it up in here. Uh, let me decrease the opacity of this airbrush a little bit. Drag it in here just a little bit. To make it like it have a transparent look of the hair, like this, and same at the top around here. Now we turn this off. Create a new layer. Choose clipping, and now you know what we're gonna do. That's we creating the shadow. So many of you guys are asking me a lot about. Uh, the white hair while some here that they are choose purple some to choose the uh, blue for the shadow that depend on the character and also depend on the environment just imagine that your white hair here you will uh, stand uh, you will see that I will put the shadows in here and you can understand about it so if I put the orange look color here and pan it around here to create the look of the character more gray here and then I put a little bit blue here and then a little bit purple you know that I'm trying to do right that is not really the shadow but it is the reflect the bouncing light of the environment to the hair because the white hair is uh, it's also is not have the uh, color so the color appear in the hairs will be the shadow and the shadow will be reflect from the environment and of course maybe from the sun too so depend on the character depend on the, the uh, environment it will have the different way for you to put the shadow colors in here and pick the color whatever you want it's not really had the rules in here maybe if your character wearing some um, red colors and it can create the red uh, shadow for this hairstyle that's it so now 
I but my favorite it's just my choice my favorite my taste that I always pick the blue ones in here and around this one and then I will use the airbrush here a, a watercolor brush because and create this look shadow so just remember about the place that the light will appear right so you can create this one like this a little bit more shadow under here and shadow here now you will create the darker one a little bit here creating the darker color for the shadow so drag it around this part and here this will be the place the inside and you can see that how the strand has will appear in here and create the shadow of this one As it's going to be the highlight, pick the white color in here and pan it. So you can see really quick you are creating the color of the white hair with the burnt hairstyle like this you maybe want to change it you can use hue cell rotation and move the hue in here to change the color appear with the hair And now, you already know the tricks that I already created before, right? That will be lightened and put the layer at the top. Pick the color here like purple and use airbrush, increase the size, slightly drag like this. And maybe you want to have some uh, like the color appear from the sunlight here like this. Bouncing light. And is it done? Now I will put some skin color here. Turn it off. Turn this one off. Um, and better turn this one off some skin color here and pan it so you will see how it look when we finish the picture creating the shadow 
just souse it in is enough. Now then, to see the result, really quick, right? And you now you had a character in here. And maybe if you want, you can change the light up color to make it look more beautiful. Like this. And then we are done. One hand style, how to color it, how to draw it, and a little bit effect in here. And your character looks stunning. You can maybe finish on the rest in here. I just do a quick tutorial for you guys to show how to do it. So that's it all about this video. Thank you for watching, goodbye, and see you next time.